Revelation chapter number 15, verse number 5. And after that, I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. We're currently in the Revelations chapter number 15, verse number 5. And we have just finished of where the believers that made it up to heaven, that was caught up with the Lamb, had sung the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. And now the Apostle John sees another thing. Let's read this in a complete Jewish Bible as well. After this, I looked, and the sanctuary, that is, the tent of witness in heaven, was opened. So, John is saying, when he looked now, he see the tabernacle of the testimony. Now, we know tabernacle could mean a tent, or dwelling place, or a temporary dwelling place. That's what the word tabernacle. Tabernacle means to live together, to dwell. So, and we know when the Bible refers to it, it refers to the tabernacle. Let's go and let's look at this image of the tent or the tabernacle that God commanded Moses to make and it was in the wilderness. Here you have the outside perimeter of the tent and then you have the, the brass altar where they will offer up their sacrifices and then and this is where they would wash and right here is what we want to put, zoom in on or pay close attention this is the tent of meeting this is where Moses went to meet with God this tent was comprised of two compartments number one you had the holy place Number two, you had the most holy place. The holy place where the priests could enter in and they were separated by the curtains and you had the golden menorah here. You had the altar of incense. You had the golden table and you had the showbread. Now, behind the second curtain, notice the second curtain had cherubs and on it or woven into it where as the entrance of the tent itself did not and I was reading some writings were saying that this symbolized the very cherubs themselves that was on the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant and in this once you cross here you entered into the most holy place now it was forbidden for anyone to enter here you or I just couldn't walk in only the high priest could walk in and then he was under instructions to enter in once and only once a year and that was on the day of Katomit Yom Kippur and he would offer a sacrifice first for himself and then for the children of Israel and this is where Moses would go and commune with God. And God would speak to Moses from on top of the mercy seat in between the two cherubs. So that's why this is called the tent of meeting. This is where they will go to meet with God. So that is the tent of meeting. So it makes you wonder, what did John see? When he looked in heaven, was it a tent, a real temporary dwelling place? Was it a building? And that could be considered a temporary dwelling place because Revelation let us know that in the final course of things, God is going to come down and dwell with men. So where he's dwelling up right now is a temporary dwelling place. So that's the reason why that could have been referred to as a tabernacle we will find things out like this later on but it's exciting it's exciting to know that we may not make it to that temporary dwelling place or that tabernacle in heaven but we do not have to we have a dwelling place where god is going to come and tabernacle with us down here on earth in new jerusalem and we're going to get to that in a little bit god in the name of jesus we're actually to look on 
and bless. Help your people everywhere. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank God. Amen. Have a great day.